We as Christians are not called to seek the approval or the accolades or the fanfare of man. Rather, we as Christians and the church are here to seek the approval of God. Paul says in Galatians 1.10, he outlines this very clearly where he asks, am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? If I am seeking the approval of man, I wouldn't be a slave of Jesus Christ. We as Christians must be cautious and careful that we don't sometimes uh, revert back to our old ways. We must remember that we are a new creation. And when we know that we are a new creation, there is a submission that should be happening within our lives to what the Word of God says and what the Word of God commands us to do. And one of those things that we are commanded to do is to go baptize and teach. That is what Jesus gives us in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. However, what happens though is we are looking sometimes to seek the approval of men rather than upholding what God's law and what God's word says. And so when we do this, we tend to muddy down and or compromise the truths of the scriptures to make the gospel more palatable or more acceptable by mankind. But we are told specifically in a large section of the New Testament addresses Christian living on how we as Christians specifically are not called to live in a way that is making man applaud us or making us more acceptable to men. Now, Christians are not called to go and influence the social order or influence social justice or social economics or influence politicians. That's not our primary job as Christians. The secondary effects of when we share the gospel will bleed over into that. But when we as Christians understand God's word and we are saturated with it in ourselves, it overflows out of us and it spills into the culture. And that is how we can affect the culture for Christ. We should not be trying to push for some form of fake morality because outside from Christ and the Holy Spirit, there is no good morality. They can do good things, but it is not a good thing apart from the Spirit. So Christians, we must remember that we are not here to seek the approval of man. We are here to seek to obey Christ and to seek his approval. And I think it's a very tempting thing for many of us to fall back into this where we do look for the accolades or the likes or the comments or the pats on the back. But I want to encourage you all to stay the course, fight the good fight. We are to be force multipliers for Christ by sharing the gospel and then let the Spirit do the work.